Hey guys and welcome back to Terratech. So there has been quite a big update. They have added in a completely new corporation which is just I'm pretty sure called Future Corporation or something like that or the new corporation. I forgot what it's called. It's not technically a corporation yet because it doesn't have a real name and it doesn't have too many blocks. I'd say it is still quite cool. They have also added in a new soundtrack to the game. They have also added in I'm pretty sure quite a lot of new blocks to the Experimental Corporation which is quite cool. Basically if you guys didn't know the Experimental Corporation is just items that the developers are adding into the Experimental Corporation and then most likely those items will be put into one of the corporations that are already in the the game so I'm not sure how long it will take for some of the items from the experimental corporation to come to the normal game but hopefully quite soon so let's get into it I also forgot to point out that to play with these items you have to have the R&D test chamber so I'm not sure how much it costs on Steam pretty sure it's a couple pounds or something like that or a couple dollars I'm not sure this is basically just a better much much better creative mode so let's get into it so this is the cab for the better future corporation and i'd say it actually looks pretty cool it's just a mini hovercraft so i'd say all of the other factions have quite boring cabins but this one i'd say is actually really cool it's not the fastest and it doesn't really turn that well but i'd say it is quite cool to be honest it is also the only cabin that is able to fly by itself or hover or whatever or just stay in the air by itself which is kind of cool so they have added in a couple wheels to the faction they sadly there aren't any weapon blocks yet I'm pretty sure they are going to be adding some in but we'll see later on so accessory blocks there's a better future gyro so just basically a much better gyroscope no power blocks sadly no manufacturing blocks sadly as well and there's quite a lot of flight blocks. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say there's a lot of just building blocks. And I'd say this faction does look really cool and really sleek. So as you guys can see, it just all fits in really well into place. It just looks amazing in my opinion. Quite a lot of these blocks are just basically rounded. So there's no blocks similar to GSO or Geocorp or let's say Hawkeye or stuff like that. They're just all curved and it just looks amazing to be honest. So I don't think this is going to be their name forever, Better Future, because that doesn't really sound just as good as, let's say, Hawkeye or Venture or stuff like that. So, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for the name of this faction, then just tell me in the comment section below. Okay then, so they have some bike wheels that you can have, so that looks quite cool. So I guess we'll be able to make a new bike later on. So this is just a Better Future Small Angled Halo Wheel, the Better Future Small Straight halo wheel okay so that's just a basically a bigger version of that so the better future small side halo wheel so yeah it's just a basic side wheel to be honest it is quite cool though so it kind of looks i'd say like wheels of a mars buggy i guess so these are just the smaller versions there's also oh, okay so there's a future medium straight halo wheel so there is just a better bigger version of the bike wheel so that's quite cool and there's also a bigger version of these wheels okay then so let's just put this on okay then so this looks quite cool to be honest and as you can see i am going quite fast 69 miles per hour <laughs> and the turning speed is actually quite good as well and in unlike some factions but yeah so as you can see the turning gray is just amazing and it's actually really fast so from what i've played with this corporation i'd say some other things are still a bit glitchy because as you can see i kind of just bob up and down i'm not sure if, if this is the same with other factions but it does seem still a tiny bit glitchy but i can't expect too much it is still a fairly new faction accessory blocks so better future gyro like that and like that and now let's just put on some gyroscopes yeah so as you can see this is actually really cool to be honest, this does give me quite a cool idea. I could make a vehicle with just two wheels, some quite of gyroscopes, and then make it just kind of human-like. So that would probably be the closest thing to a walker, I guess. That could be quite cool. If you guys want that, then just tell me in the comment section below. Okay then, guys, so it is now time for the flight blocks. So I guess we're going to start off with the wings. So there is a medium outside wing, a medium middle wing, and a small wing. Okay then, so let's just place these down. Okay, yeah, I'd say that does look quite cool. So I guess in the upcoming videos, I could be able to make a new flying vehicle with these. Yeah, they do look amazing. It's just how sleek it is, just the looks. I don't know if they might end up changing these. I don't think they will because it's just a completely new thing. And hopefully it just stays like this. Okay, then, so, oh yeah, there's also this smaller wing. So I guess that could be good for some smaller planes. Okay, then, so now it is time for the small hovering. Yeah, ring. I thought you said rig for a second. And the large hover rig. 
Okay then, so let's see how does this go around. So it is quite slow to be honest because I haven't put on any... Oh god, are you okay then? Okay, I feel like I might have to put on a gyroscope onto this thing maybe. Okay then, yeah, so you just basically need some gyroscopes for this thing. But yeah, it does seem quite cool and it is... I don't know, maybe I just built it a bit wrong, but it does seem a tiny bit glitchy. But yeah, I'd say it is quite cool. So these other hovers... They're just basically much bigger versions of that. And better future orb booster. Okay. Haven't used that one yet. So I imagine it's probably just a really good booster. Let's just see. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's. Okay. That's really good. Wait. Can you use that? Okay. So I'm pretty sure this one uses fuel. Instead of some of the other ones I've checked out earlier. In my own time. So yeah, some of these don't use fuel. I'm pretty sure this one does, but this one, it gives you quite a good boost, to be honest. Okay then, so now better future left medium hover flipper, right medium hover flipper, and large hover flipper. And then right large hover flipper, fuel tank. Okay then, so these are just, as you can see, medium hover flipper. Okay then, so I'm pretty sure these are just really strong, because as you can see, I'm just flying around everywhere. The weight is a bit unbalanced, so let's just... Okay, yeah, so it's a bit better now. Okay, yeah, so I like these much more than those other ones. So these seem to be much more stable. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Calm down, calm down. So these do seem to be quite a bit more stable than those other thrusters, unless maybe I just didn't have the center of mass done right. But yeah, that does look quite cool. Left, large... Okay. Oh, okay, so there's a bigger version of this. I see. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, these are much bigger. Okay, yeah, they, they are much more stable. Are they faster? So I think these are quite a bit faster. Yeah, it is quite a bit faster. So I'm pretty sure the fastest the smaller variants could go was about 60 or something like that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these are quite a bit better. But also it's a bit weird with these hovers because whenever you turn it either goes upwards or down for some weird reason. Oh, okay, yeah, so as you saw there. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Maybe they'll fix, hopefully they'll fix that soon. So now there's just a future medium fuel tank. Okay, I guess that's quite a cool looking fuel tank. Okay, let's just go. But do these consume fuel or are they just a time thing and okay yeah so these are a fuel consuming booster thing so as you can see I do go really far oh, okay let's just let's just not go towards those guys they would probably destroy me it does go really fast and I'd say these are quite good I'd imagine that these consume quite a lot of fuel so I'm pretty sure that these can contain quite a lot of fuel in them which is pretty nice so I guess it could be useful for some other builds later on okay and so let's see what other blocks are there so there is a large steering hover a medium steering hover and a small steering hover oh okay so then so I'm pretty sure these are just basically stronger versions of uh, let's say horn steering hover or just probably better versions of these venture five-way two-way one-way steering hovers so yeah I'm pretty sure that's quite cool okay then so yeah my steering is quite a bit better I'd say it does weigh quite a lot but it does give you a tiny boost as you can see there it does give you a boost which is kind of nice so it is probably quite heavy as you can see I keep on going backwards and yeah they seem quite a bit unstable maybe just because I'm using the smaller variants of the hovers but still it's really not oh okay yeah, that's a bit weird. I don't remember this really happening. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, so I don't remember this happening with the other hovers from other factions. So, GSO, Geocorp. I'm not sure about Geocorp. I haven't really tested this one out. But from Venture and Hawkeye and stuff like that. But I haven't really encountered this weird glitch thing. Okay, and so basically, to be honest, these will be just the same thing. But just on a bigger scale. So, yeah, as you can see, if it do this does make me turn quite a, a bit more. So, these are the last two items for this faction, I'm pretty sure. So, the better future small ion drive. And they make propeller sounds for some reason. Wait, what are they called? Small ion dot drives. Okay. Let's see how fast can I go. Okay, I'm going. Oh, God. Okay. Let's. Uh, oh, okay. Calm down. Let's see how fast can I go. 112, 13. Okay, yeah, so that is quite fast. So I'd be able to travel around really quickly. And now there is also a bigger variant of this, the better future medium ion drive. So yeah, this looks much better. This kind of gives me, I'd say, a Star Wars vibe, or maybe like a Tron vibe, because of these like trails and just stuff like that. I'd say it's quite cool. But yeah, it is quite unstable. Don't know, maybe it's just because of my amazing building skills. Okay, and so I'm pretty sure we've finished with this faction now. So let's just check out some of the experimental items. Don't think they really added in anything to this. No one in control blocks. I'm pretty sure I already looked at the wheels. 
Okay, so now let's just get to the best part, the weapons. Okay, let's see, experimental items. So, firework launcher. I'm pretty sure this does not work, from what I can remember. Oh my god, this is so cool. Now, this is epic. So I remember it didn't do anything at the start when they added this in, but now it does, so that's kind of nice. The Sonic Lance. Okay, that looks really cool. That just looks basically like a railgun. Let's see. So is this a weapon or... Or am I just supposed to, like, go backwards into an enemy or am I just supposed to, like, ram into him? Jesus, okay. Okay, then, so this did look kind of like a railgun, to be honest. Let's just tape these off Bye, before I kill time. myself and... Okay. Damn, I can throw well. There is a Cat 9 Flail Guard. Okay, then, so that is just a melee weapon. Now there's a Windmill Flail Guard. So that's just probably bigger than... Yeah, okay. Let's just go up to someone. Yeah, come here, bomb guy. Okay, that shreds. Yeah, that, that absolutely shreds. Okay, so I can't destroy too much because like of my vehicle, but yeah, you get the idea. That looks really cool. Okay, then, so I'd say that the Plasma Jaws, to be honest, look kind of like a Star Wars red lightsaber. Kind of... Oh, okay. Okay, I was just shooting for so long with these guns that I just made that explode, but okay, I guess that shows how strong these little guns are. Well done. Let's just go up to this thing. Okay, yeah, that just shreds. Okay. Oh god, punch, leave me alone. Punch, stranger danger. Okay, now I can take care of you, finally. Okay, yeah, so this is OP as well. What the fuck? Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, so this thing does look quite cool. And boom. Oh god, okay. Let's see what other items are there. So there is a Hunter Railgun. So that's just a 360 Railgun. Let's just see how much damage does this thing do. I'm gonna target this guy. Is it a 360? Okay, let's just see how much damage does this do. Okay, I mean, so that just one shot of the cabin. That's great. It does have quite a bit of splash damage, but it doesn't really... It's just able to probably break one block. But that is still quite strong. Let's say I, I just have a couple of these. Okay, yeah, that, that does quite a lot of damage, to be honest. So, I guess that could be for another episode. Let's see, and now the last thing. I'd say this is probably the best item. The experimental dual auto cannon. So this does look like the called the whole Kai auto cannon, but just I'd say probably a better version. Let's just see. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh the recoil on this thing. Okay, yeah. These are OP. Just target this small guy. Oh god, the recoil. Damn, this is amazing. Okay, actually, I know. Let's try go up to one of those guys over there. And let's see how well do we do. So this isn't the best build, but you get the idea. Oh god, why are you shooting at me already? Come on, get him. Shoot him. Oh no. Okay, I didn't even see him die, but okay. Come on, shoot him. Gotta just not shoot straight away. Let's just try to get up a bit closer. Come on, get him. Oh, okay. Just pretend that didn't happen, guys. Oh, yeah, they also added in two new gyroscopes, I'm pretty sure. Or at least... Nice. Um, okay, let's just get rid of that. Let's see. Okay, let's just get rid of that as well. I'm pretty sure most of these items don't work, so like let's say the plasma furnace or the dynamo generator or this resource radar, sadly, but that's okay. So also new flight blocks, flying yeah, experimental flying fortress hover plate. Okay, oh, okay. Now that's a big one, to be honest. That's what she said! Jetson steering hover. Okay then, so it's just one of the steering hovers. That's also quite cool. And a top nose propeller, so just, okay. I thought it would just be quite a small propeller, but uh, yeah, that's really big and so this won't really work but yeah okay so quite a lot of new blocks added in to the game and also as you guys could probably hear in the video there is a new game soundtrack just like i said at the beginning this update i'd say is quite a cool one i just can't wait for it to be added into the campaign and also tell me guys in the comments section below if you'd like me to start a new campaign or should i wait for these items to go into the campaign so i could start off with this 
cool new faction or or just what what do you guys want me to do or just maybe a tutorial or something like that oh yeah i also forgot to say at the beginning of the video if you guys want to play with this you not only need to have the rnd test chamber but you also have to have the unstable branch thing for Taratech enabled so you just have to install that if you guys want then i can also make a tutorial on how to activate the unstable branch okay then guys so i'm going to end this here hopefully you found this update quite cool and maybe you're gonna get the rnd test chamber so tell me in the comment section below guys what you would like me to do and thanks for watching and see you